Yeah, I've made some good decisions and some bad decisions in my life. But I'll tell you absolutely the best decision that I've made was when I was 15 years old and I decided to give my life to God. I'd grown up in the church, but I kind of thought that it was all a bit like a fairy story, the Bible. It was a good news story, but perhaps it wasn't true. Um, I just thought it was it was nice stories. I love the stories about Jesus. Uh, he did amazing things, raised people from the dead, uh, healed the sick, uh, brought the best out of people. And I loved that. But I wasn't sure that uh, that it was true. And I kind of wandered away from the, the church a little bit. But when I was 15, my grandmother was involved in a car accident. My grandparents were very strong Christians. And my grandmother was in a coma for a week. And um, the doctors had said that, um, that the, the brain damage, the, the, the injuries that she had sustained were so severe that um, they didn't think she would uh, recover at all. She wouldn't be able to walk or talk or dress herself. And uh, pneumonia had set into her lungs and they were just going to uh, let her slip away. But my grandfather um, said, well, I'll get the minister to come and pray for her healing. And I remember saying to my grandfather, is that not a waste of time? The, the specialist has just told us that it's that it's over, that, it's, that, that she's gone. And my grandfather says, Stephen, I, be, I believe in God. And I believe that, uh, and he quoted a, a, a verse from, from Hebrews that says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He healed 2,000 years ago. He heals today. So I remember going home that night and being very challenged by what my grandfather had said. And I prayed for the first time in my life, earnestly, honestly. I said, God, I need to know that you are real. That you are the God of the Bible that my grandfather talks about. If you are, it's nothing to you to heal my grandmother. You raise people from the dead. No problem to you if you're the God of the Bible. I need to know if you're real. And if you are real, I'll follow you. And the next day, the minister from my grandfather's church came to the hospital with a little bottle of oil. Uh, made the sign of the cross on my grandmother's head and put his hand beside her head and said a very simple prayer. I said, Jesus, bring healing to this body. And as he said that, a, there was a power came into the room, a presence. You could feel it tangible. And my grandmother opened her eyes, sat up in bed, started talking. She went on to make a full recovery. And I remember just going home that day and and it's so so amazed by what had happened and I prayed and I heard the voice of God for the first time the Bible talks about how God speaks in a still small voice it's like a whisper as I started to pray this voice said now do you believe and I did give my life to God and uh, best decision I've ever made Jesus is the ultimate role model. He's the ultimate inspiration. For me, I want to be like Jesus. He has a greater capacity for love than I've ever seen in any human being. Uh, he looks to bring the best out of people and help them to fulfill their full potential in life. And uh, I know that I am a part of God's family. That's what the Bible tells me, and I know that. And it gives me great confidence to know that I am part of God's family, not just for this life, but for all eternity. One of my favorite verses in the Bible talks about how we are adopted into God's family. My wife and I, we adopted two children three years ago, and we know the adoption process. The adoption process is you actually choose the children. Out of all the thousands of children available, you choose these children to be part of your family, your household, and you know that you're choosing them. They're broken because of the start in life that they've had. Our children had a horrible start to life, but nonetheless, we chose them in all their brokenness. We chose to love them and to give them the best life that they could have. And that for me echoes that scripture in, in, in the Bible, in the New Testament, that says that we are adopted into God's family, that we are as adopted children with full rights to as heirs of his kingdom. And my children will inherit my estate when my wife and I pass on. They are the heirs to everything I have. And the Bible tells us that I am an heir to everything that God has. And God has everything. 
He has absolutely everything and there's nothing impossible for him. And I could give you a thousand stories of how God has made my life better, how I've seen him do miraculous things and change lives for the better. Absolutely the best decision I've made. And I would encourage anybody watching this, take a step of faith. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Give your life to him because he gave you your life and he has the plan for it. And I would, I would never have been able to pick the life that I've had. Uh, I've had great things happen in my life and it's all been God's plan. And I'm glad that I've been obedient to his leading because it's been better than I ever thought my life would be.